you may know my next guest from her Emmy-nominated role on Life Goes On. Uh, now she can be found every Thursday night on TV's highest-rated show, ER. We're a close second. Please welcome <laughs> Kelly Martin. How are you? I'm great. Yeah? How are you? I'm, I'm doing very good. I'm, I'm congratulations on uh, Thank you. ER. That's a great job. It's, you know, it's probably the best job in the world. They just called you up. You were at school and they said, how would you like to be a regular My on ER? My mom called me and said, what would you like to be doing right now? I said, anything but studying for this test. And they said, would you like to be a regular on ER? I'm like, yeah. Sure. That's the dream of a lot of people is they're in school. And their, their teacher is saying, I want that answer, Mr. O'Brien. And then you, someone comes in with a note and you go, I, I gotta go, I'm a regular <laughs> exactly. on ER. Exactly. <laughs> you go to hell, dude. Exactly. And you just, and you just leave and you, uh, and I don't know when I'm going back. Right. That's well, don't worry about that. No, I'm not worried about it. I'm having a good time. Uh, ER, um, they, they, it's famous for, you know, it's a great show, but they're very, uh, technically accurate Correct. people say absolutely how accurate i mean isn't the stuff that they use like when they're you know uh, on the set that i see on tv is that stuff all fake well using... when you see like us cut into someone and all the blood come gushing out that's fake that's like a fake chest and fake what blood. i know i know generally that's it's the coolest fake. part of the show is that they murder real people <laughs> We don't murder them, but we actually have hurt <laughs> right, quite a them. few actor patients. You don't right, want to be a patient on ER. Well, what about, like, the medicines and stuff? Oh, That's the just like, all... little, the little lidocanes, I think it's little, I'm trying to think. The little lidocanes, the little vials and the bags of IV things, those are all real. Those are all accurate. So those when, are real medicines? Why do they have to use real medicines? Why can't they just put water in there? What? It's water, but it's the real you know, outside part that's real. It's like Oh, it's the real bottle exactly. with the fake stuff. Exactly. So when we, someone's in... Then it's not in, real. It's kind this of This is a real. real car. Where's the engine? Oh, it's come kind on. kind of real. As long as you have to drive away, it's fine. <laughs> it's real. Are you... Uh, uh, but you know, one of the things that I admire so much about the ER actors is they get really good at knowing all the jargon. Yeah. You know, five cc's of hamagamagal stat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I need a uh, lidocaine on board. This guy's in V-fib. Give me, give me suction. Stat. <laughs> stat. I haven't had to say stat yet. Lucy doesn't get to command that yet. Lucy's right. like, stat? Please? <laughs> they all Can go, you? no. Exactly. No, no, you're wrong. No. Uh, but do you ever attempted to use that in real life? Because if I had that knowledge, I would just be walking around. The funny so, thing you know, is, it's like a little bit of knowledge that's just a teaser. I was on the plane coming here, and it's it's a red eye. We're all, you know, everyone's sleeping, and all of a sudden, I wake up, all the stewardesses are running to the back of the plane. And you're thinking, okay, we're going down, we're going down. And then the captain comes on, and he says, uh, is there a doctor on board? Is there a doctor on board? Immediately, I go like this, like, I'm kind of a doctor, and then I sat down, <laughs> and I just waited, and, uh... Just some fake lidocaine? Because I could help. <laughs> just give me something. I'll go help. And then all of a sudden, they, they do it again. So I'm thinking, you know what? There's no one to help this girl. She's fainted back there. I might as well go help. I stop the stewardess. I'm like, what's wrong? The, the girl fainted. We can't revive her. I'm like, okay. Oh, I gotta sit here. I can't go help. I can't go help. You could have gone in there, I and you know. To. I'm sure you've learned enough stuff. Chest compressions. I can come oh, do no, that. I'm really good at that. <laughs> but that's. I'll like give her all a tracheotomy. Ah. Exactly. So I, mean, I don't know what to do now. She just fainted too. That's that's the problem. I'd probably get in there and do something crazy, <laughs> and she just fainted. We're gonna so remove her eat. eyes. That's the only thing we can do. <laughs> but she just fainted. Trust me. No. Okay. I'm on TV. It. I've done this before. I know what I'm doing. I, uh, I have to ask you, I've been uh, watching Baywatch since the beginning. I'm, a, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you, a, you admit that. Oh, you know, yeah. I'm a Baywatch scholar. And uh, nice. I will write my thesis one day on Baywatch. And I'm reading your bio, and it says that you were uh, on Baywatch, and I don't remember this episode. I the, think I've, you, you didn't remember me? No, I was no. in the pilot episode. Oh, I, was, I didn't see the pilot. I was Girl on Beach. What, what, what I was very was your... young. I was uh, 13 years old, lying on the beach in a little bikini, and uh, this guy was supposed to come rub suntan lotion on my back. And one I of mean, the people on the show? Yeah, one of the guys. He's not on the show anymore. You know, they change every season. 
So this guy's supposed to rub scent hand lotion on my back, and he's not doing a very good job. I'm like, you can unhook the strap and all that stuff, and he still can't unhook the strap. Oh, so. the guy, did he get fired because he couldn't unhook the strap? <laughs> no, he lasted a little longer than that. Because that caused me a lot of misery. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> Brian Austin Green actually ended up playing the guy who could unhook the strap and rub scent hand lotion on my back. That's cool. That's a cool way to get a job. I guess. It to was be able to like, click with one hand. Did, um, uh, you know, I got to bring this up because I'm looking right at the ring. Yeah. Which is beautiful. Thank you. And uh, you, you got engaged. Yeah, I got engaged the day after Thanksgiving. That's um, really nice. Yeah, my fiance Keith asked me um, at the Met. We were just walking through the Met, and, and I thought, like, we sat down just to, like, look at the sculptures. And I thought to myself, why didn't he just ask me? Thought to myself, and all of a sudden he reaches in his pocket and pulls out this little box. And I went, what? Did I just dream that? And he asked me. Oh, that's cool. But I knew he was going to ask me before he asked me. It was very cool. I would have thought that, weird. I mean, I've always thought, like, the thing to do, I, you know, I, I've, I've not done this, but I always thought the, the thing to do is, like, the guy's supposed to bake it into a brownie or do some kind of cool... <laughs> Put it in the bottom of, like, a glass or something. Yeah, glue so it like, to a squirrel's head. And... <laughs> you, we're getting engaged if you can catch that squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, nothing like no, that? Nothing like that. Real simple. And, I mean, he couldn't even get the ring on my finger before I was grabbing at it, saying, yes, yes, yes. And then Brian like, Austin Green came by and said, I'll put it on. <laughs> <laughs> but it, he's great, and we're all engaged and all what, that stuff. What, when so. are you getting married? I don't know, probably this summer. Okay. We're right. not going to wait too long. You know, I said yes, we might as well get married. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Well, I'm very happy exactly. for you. Thank and you. continued success on ER. That's a very cool thing. Or ER, as I er. call it. That's what people in the know call it. ER. Uh, Kelly Martin, thank you very much. ER, Thursdays at 10 on NBC. And uh, we're going to take a little break right now, and then we're going to come back with the Marvelous Three. So stick around.